Hello, this is Mike Uwaz with Case IH. This is a little bit of an example of what happens during split throttle operation, just to give you an idea of what to listen for and what's going on when we do split the throttles. Now, with CVT tractors, the engine is allowed to acquire its own load, which means we do not have to use the minimum throttle to have the engine rev up. The engine will rev up by itself. But you'll notice that both the minimum throttle and the maximum throttle are back all you know all the way. So therefore, when the tractor goes to take off, okay, and I have the this ground speed set for 31 mile per hour, listen to the engine. It never gets out of idle. Okay, let's do the same test again, but completely split the throttles. Okay, now listen to the engine. We're gonna take off. Now you heard the difference there. By splitting the throttles, you do allow the engine to rev up higher. Now if I bring it back, say, there, okay? Now I take off, listen to the engine. Doesn't go quite as high. So that, in one video I was talking about how the split throttles work. This gives you an idea of what happens when you change the throttles. Also, here's the other example where we'll move the minimum throttle up Okay, and we'll move this up a little bit more. So like in a loader application, when I step on the pedal, you'll hear the engine rev up a little higher. But when I let off, the engine always stays at the same speed. And that's that set my minimum throttle. So this video is just to give you an example of what happens when you do split the throttles and how they're used.